Hey guys, it's Nathan here at Mom's Career Care. Today, bring you some Hardpoint on the map Nuketown. I haven't uploaded in a while, and I'm going to explain why in a minute. But, anyways, in today's gameplay, we're going to be using the KN44 with the long barrel and extended mag attachment. I find this gun real well, um, pretty well balanced, as in, uh, like, with like the range of this gun when you put long barrel on it, it makes you can three shot kill people from almost across the map. So. I don't know if any of you guys know that, but a lot of people don't know that this gun is, even though it's like the first assault rifle you get in the game, it is probably one of the most strongest. It's kind of like the Honey Badger from uh, from Ghost, you know, and the Honey Badger was a really, really powerful weapon, even though it was the first one. And usually, like in the older Call of Duties, like the first weapon was the one people stuck away from because, you know, they think it, it sucks because it was given at a low level, but this gun is just flat out amazing. And um, for the kill streaks, we're going to be using the regular, um, you know, UAV, Hellstorm, and uh, Talon setup because I believe I hit ninth prestige in this game. And for all you guys that do not know, it is double XP weekend for this weekend until Monday, 10 p.m. or 10 a.m. Pacific, Pacific Standard Time. So if you guys really want to level up, this is the weekend to do it. Plus, it's uh, not just in multiplayer, it's in zombies too. So if you don't like multiplayer, well, you have some good news. <laughs> so, anyways, um, the reason I've not been as active lately, I have a feeling I've been making these videos where I explain why I've not been active. Like, I've been making a lot of them because, I don't know, I just, I feel that I have been. So, I'm just going to say that this month has been a little crazy with, um, I work now and I was trying to kind of relax after I graduated uh, a couple, I graduated like a month ago, but the summer's going by fast and uh, I'm going to try to upload more often. I've just been really busy, like I've said, with, uh, with work and um, just making sure everything's, you know, I'm doing everything I need to do. I work out a little bit so I don't, you know, gain too much weight. <laughs> so, yeah, either way though, if you guys want to add me on PlayStation Network, my ID or you know PlayStation Network ID is II Gilly Sniper, um, and just whenever you send me a friend request, just say hey I'm a sub or whatever because I have some you know I have I have little space left on my friends list but it's just whenever I get you know I I have like 200 friend requests and whenever I you know look at them there's no message in there so I don't know who you are if you send me a friend request I don't know who you are if you say you're my sub or you know I know you personally I'll definitely accept you and we can play together. Um, so, yeah. Anyways, for today's topic, it's not even a Call of Duty topic, but it does involve a Call of Duty commentator, or two call, or former Call of Duty commentators, one of them still makes Call of Duty videos. We're going to be talking about T. Martin and Pro Syndicate. Now, this has been, if you have not been, you know, I'm assuming you guys do sub to more people than just me. So, I'm sure you've heard of this story already, but basically... T. Martin, um, I'm just going to focus more on T. Martin because I don't really follow Pro Syndicate, but I have followed T. Martin in the past, but I just, I'm not a fan of his content, content anymore, and haven't been. I'm not a hater, I'm just going to say that. So, basically, a couple months ago, T. Martin, or Trevor Martin, was uh, promoting this gambling site called CSGO Lotto, and for you guys that have not played Counter-Strike, it's... It's like a first-person shooter like Call of Duty, except you can't aim down the sights, you completely free pre-fire, which sounds like a weird thing, but it's a huge game with a big community. And in those in that game, you have things like skins and weapon variants, kind of like Call of Duty. But the thing is, they actually have some... They have some money value. They have a monetary value. So people like to gamble them, sell them, and buy them on the Steam Marketplace or, um, you know... That use third-party sites to gamble. The thing is, though, T. Martin was promoting this website as if he randomly discovered it. Oh yeah, guys, I just check out this new site I uh, found out. You can, you know, trade your skins and stuff or gamble and whatever. And it turns out that T. Martin has been, he's been the owner of this website this whole time. So what this means is 
it violates um, the FTC Section 5 guideline. And for all you guys who don't know what the FTC, it's the Federal Trade Commission. Um, Pro Syndicate has had uh, many, um, he's dealt with them many times because of in the past, but this would be the first time T. Martin has to deal with them. But FTC Section 5 guideline basically says that if you're promoting something and you have a stake in the company or you're the owner of it, you have to state that. It's just the ethical thing and it's the legal thing to do. Now there's another thing that T. Martin also kind of broke is he's gambling on his own website. And this would just be like going to um, you owning casino and then you betting in your own casino and winning millions of dollars. That would be very shady and it's really unethical. And it's also very illegal. So he got caught red hand. I mean, obviously, he's making videos of, you know, he admits that, oh, yeah, guys, this has been common knowledge. Well, it hasn't been common knowledge. You've never said anything about owning the website itself. The legal documents have been online, but no one's going to search this stuff unless they're really, you know, they're just wondering who owns it. But you got caught. And also another thing was, in the CSGO Lotto, they use um, these bots. The bots are the middleman between the two people that bet. So let's say you bet an AK-47 skin and some uh, bet some pistol skin. Well, both those um, skins would go to this bot, and whenever, whoever, won the, uh, whoever won the trade would get, you know, get the skins from the bot. So the bot's in the middle of this transaction. Well, on one of his streams, you know, T. Martin streams, he was logged into one of the bot accounts. So, even though there's no proof of him rigging, you know, the bets, it really looks like he did it. This, you know, getting caught, you know, this proves that he has access to these bot accounts, and he can alter trades and bets and stuff, or heck, he could steal skins from people while they're trading in, with, you know, into the bots to, you know, bet. But I'm not saying he did, but it's just very fishy, and I don't know. If are you guys... I've never personally gambled in my life. I don't recommend you do, especially over things like this, which I mean they do have monetary value, but they really didn't. Okay, so and this isn't gonna be, oh, you get a million dollars for the CS:GO skins, you can quit work for the rest of your life and not work. The thing is, you know, if you're gambling on this and you put so much money into it and you lose, well, look, you're gonna. That can be, you know, that could be your life savings you're putting into a video game, and it's all gone. So, just be smart. That's all I ask you guys to do. I'm, I'm somewhat smart, but I don't do this, you know. I don't gamble. It's, it's too risky, you know. It's a, it's just like the stock market. The stock market's pretty much gambling. It's a high risk, high reward thing. So, but you know, if there's a website owner that's bidding on his own website, that's just, that's so damn fishy. So anyways, guys, thanks for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this gameplay slash commentary. If you did, give it a like. If you didn't, give it a dislike and tell me why you didn't like it and how I can improve. And also, if you want to see more of this stuff in your sub box, please subscribe. I'll see you guys later. Bye.